the caravan has now shifted to hyderabad the, the rajiv gandhi international stadium right behind me we are here for the match 2 of the icc men's cricket world cup 2023 and we are going to preview the game between pakistan and netherlands and see the permutations and combinations that both the teams might go in with plus we'll see that uh, who, what ground what does the this ground mean for pakistan and netherlands all obviously pakistan have been able to talk about it more in detail and netherlands need to adjust to conditions in every ground they play in as soon as possible because these are kind of alien conditions to them before i start off with the presentation guys i would uh, request you to uh, subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with as many people as possible because we are going to be right with you throughout the cricket world cup and uh, after that as well So uh, they're playing at Hyderabad, the Upal Stadium, Rajiv Gandhi Stadium. Just a small sample size that we have here: seven matches, four-one betting, first two-one chasing. But Pakistan have played two warm-up matches, as I said. So they are very much accustomed to the conditions, and uh, Netherlands need to adjust straight away. Uh, for Pakistan, win the toss and bat first. For Netherlands, uh, I would say that you want to bat first and. Pakistan crumble in chases, so that is one area that you would be looking to target a team like Pakistan. So as far as the ground is concerned, it will favor Pakistan, and uh, winning the toss and batting first would be the correct decision. Let's have a look at for the Pakistan team. Wh- where are they traveling? What kind of grounds they'll be playing on? Although we gave you a very detailed analysis into the schedule, but quickly we we'll look at Hyderabad uh, to stay on the focus. Netherlands and Sri Lanka these two games are important for Pakistan because if they get through these two games then uh, it's uh, uh, India the big game will they go in with confidence if they win these two games if they slip up in one of those games then it's a bit tough but considering Hyderabad as our sole focus for today uh, they should do well in the two games and then they move on to Bangalore Ahmedabad and uh, the rest of the grounds so Hyderabad will they will try and make Hyderabad their happy hunting ground As far as the playing combination for Pakistan is concerned, uh, probable playing eleven. I am going in with Abdullah Shafiq because I don't want to take the risk of going in with the out of form Fakhar Zaman given his past records. Whatever form is form, and I believe on picking on current form. So go, going in with Abdullah Shafiq, Imamul Haq to open Babar three, Rizwan four, South Shakil five. I don't know why he didn't bat in the second warm-up game, but anyways, if the car Ahmed six, Shadab Khan, Mohammad Nawaz seven and eight, Basim Junior, because I think this is the game you can test him out. It's against Netherlands, so uh, give him a World Cup game, get him in in case you need him later in the tournament. There is also Osama Mir, but Shadab is the vice captain, so I won't go against not playing Shadab Khan. There have been debates actually about Osama Mir playing in the squad, but. uh I'll, i'll i'll stick to uh, shadab as well so this is a very formidable side haris rauf and shahin afridi obviously the two quicks who will uh, take the responsibility with the ball special mention to haris rauf hasn't been a good to welcome to india in terms of bowling he'll be looking to improve on it and uh, they look set for a good win uh, to the pakistanis any changes to the playing 11 debates on fakhar zaman let us know uh, in the comments and uh, we'll surely reply you back and uh, yes we move on to the netherlands uh netherlands uh, playing uh, pakistan and new zealand so on this very ground so they'll have one game before the new zealand want to get accustomed to this ground so uh, netherlands on this ground will have this game uh, that starts uh, tomorrow so um their their squad is kind of shaped in a good way they have the batters they have the bowlers but the thing that they don't have is netherlands do lack the experience of playing in india and that might just aid them from uh, you know performing well i won't say they won't surprise a few teams they will but tomorrow as far as tomorrow is concerned uh, uh, i don't uh, see them uh, surprising pakistan and i see pakistan taking the game out uh as far as the playing 11 they'll go in with which we think it's max odaud and vikram singh they'll go to open and then wesley baresi these are the three that came out in the warm up game against uh, australia bas dilide colin ackerman and scott edwards form the middle order very strong middle order uh, scott edwards the captain number 6 and logan one beak the hero of uh, the super over against the west indies rolf and mawa at 8 so they, they've got the batting depth it's just that i keep referring to the point again and again about experience because that is what might aid the netherlands 
uh, you know, uh, not pulling off the crunch situation if they get into a situation uh, where you see them um, in a in a fix that just might uh, go against them. So it's 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 a it's a very tricky situation for them to be in, but it'll be an experience that their players will cherish for a lot. And then Aryan Dutt, the spinner, Paul van Meekeren and Sharif Zaman uh, form the bowling attack. So. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's my playing eleven for Netherlands. Uh, people who don't know, Bas Leda is their main player, and uh, players to watch out for for tomorrow will uh, get to that uh, in a second. But uh, uh, for me, Bas Leda will be the guy for the Netherlands, uh, and uh, players to watch out for Bas Leda for me from the Netherlands and uh, from Pakistan. I'll go with uh, South Shakil. I want to see South Shakil. I really like the way he stroked the ball. Very fluent. Uh, South Shakil is the guy for me uh, to watch out for because everybody else, we know what they offer. But South Shakil in a World Cup game, his first World Cup game, you just want to give him the feel. So South Shakil is the guy for me. And uh, as far as uh, uh, the prediction now stands, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a win for Pakistan. Um, should be, I won't say easy because nothing is, is gained easy in cricket. It won't be an easy win, but it will be a win for Pakistan. They'll get on the board and Netherlands. I would, uh, I would really, f- I would really feel good for the Netherlands to put up a fight against the strong Pakistani side and take that confidence forward in the next game. But, but um, as of now, guys, uh, I think it's 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 a it's a good it's a comf- comfy win for uh, Netherlands. And they're going, uh, sorry, uh, it's a win for Pakistan. And they're going to take the game out. This was the short preview of Pakistan versus Netherlands. We'll keep bringing you preview of every World Cup game like this. Keep following us. Keep showing your love. Subscribe to the channel and wait for the review. Uh, Remember, the previews will be in the form of videos. And the live sessions will give you a review. So we'll come live after this match tomorrow as well. Until then, keep subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate your support, guys. And see you on the other side. Goodbye.